Yesterday, two people were murdered in central London and others injured. Now, obviously, our hearts go out to all of those affected and we all feel deepest sympathy. But unfortunately, sympathy is not enough. We all know that this man had a con terrorism conviction. He was convicted of terrorism, jailed and allowed out early because he has rights. You, on the other hand, well, yes, technically on paper you have rights, but when weighed up against the rights of jihadists, terrorists, rapists, foreign criminals, whoever it may be, your rights are essentially worthless. The British state is making a decision. It's deciding to let you walk the streets unsafe. It is deciding to prioritise known terrorists over and above your safety. And it has been doing it for a long time. 23,000 known jihadists are walking the streets of the UK. We know who they are because they're under surveillance. So why are we allowing them to continue walking around the UK? And more importantly, why are the borders still open for more? And why won't we address the ideology behind these attacks and speak openly and honestly about it? Because we are governed by cowards. That's the only reason. This all comes down to how this country is run and by whom. Now, we all know that if Labour were to win a general election, the floodgates would open and that 23,000 would turn in to 123,000 very quickly. More people would be killed, more people would be injured, there would be more and more attacks. But let's not forget this one salient fact. All of the terror attacks that have taken place in this country in the last 10 years were under a Conservative government. A Conservative government which could went on to do absolutely nothing at all about it. The borders are still open, the 23,000 are still on the streets and your family still means nothing. Whether it's school places, an NHS bed, uh, the, the activist judges letting terrorists out onto the streets, whether it's your daughter raped while the police look the other way, if you are an ordinary, tax-paying, law-abiding British citizen, you are at the very, very bottom of the list of priorities for this government and the government before it and probably the one to come. For Britain is clear. We will prioritise your safety over and above the so-called rights of jihadists and rapists. This country is eventually going to wake up to this unbelievable, unfathomable betrayal of the British people. And when the country does wake up, for Britain will be ready. Join us and be part of this fight back for the British people. Yeah.